The 445th uh, was a host to a multitude of uh, personnel and other bases. Mm -hmm. um, the ASTS was hosting a uh, TCCC event and coordination of prolonged field care and execution of field skills as it relates to the ASTS mission. Simultaneously occurring to this is a joint Army critical care air transport um, two-day exercise associated with flight field care as well as prolonged field care and point of injury analysis and interoperability. Lieutenant Colonel Paul Castro and, and myself developed a relationship when I came into command this last year, um, basically talking about how uh, Army and Air Force teams, we worked together overseas, and that did come out of our last deployment in 18-19, uh, where uh, medevac dispersed all across Syria and Iraq, Jordan, um, and we were working with and supporting Air Force GST and CCAT teams. But of course, first time we had seen those elements when we were downrange. So, had the idea to start maybe doing some training on the uh, state side before we find or meet each other downrange, and that's what's developed. We practice loading patients onto helicopters on and off of the opportune aircrafts at the time, as well as practicing medical interventions such as IVs, IOs, which are uh, intravenous medications, intraosseous, like putting medicine into the bone, uh, putting on tourniquets, controlling hemorrhages, and doing EMT assessments in a deployed setting. This was a two-day uh, event. So yesterday was the training, tasking, and understanding from the uh, air evacuation, critical care air transport, and army dust off conversations from point of injury to flight care and critical care management of those casualties. Yesterday we practiced staging patients for an aeromedical evacuation. That means if somebody's been wounded downrange and they need to get to a stateside hospital, we're the ones that got them on the helicopter or on the airplane and got them out of there where they needed to go. Last few days we've done uh, medevac scenarios, tail-to-tail uh, -tail transfers um, with C-17s from our Blackhawks. Um, so it's the first time we've ever done that in a training environment and not already in an operational environment. So that's huge, especially as we're bringing in younger people and, and we're already seeing that Army and Air Force can work together. And over this next year we hope to flesh out these scenarios more and uh, bring aircraft into these uh, training scenarios. There are a lot of complicated factors that contribute to care and aeromedical evacuation in a helicopter. And the Army showed up and told us all about how they get patients in and out and what it's like to actually care for a critically wounded patient thousands of feet in the air in a helicopter. The full appreciation of uh, all of our, our members uh, and their families and community to allow us to execute these critical missions to allow enhanced survivability and care of both stateside and uh, in uh, foreign environments, I think is, is monumental. Doing this training will help save lives. The faster, the more efficient we can be when we're working together. Um, in fact, the scenarios we've been doing have already played out in real life. Um, the faster, more efficient we can be, that's, that's lives saved is what it equates to. So that time away from family, that time out here doing these kind of things, one, it increases just skills of the people that'll save people in a life-threatening scenario, um, but just every second counts when somebody's hurt on a battlefield. And, the faster we can get uh, get them to care, the better. And Air Force and Army working together makes that even better. So um, people are out here saving lives. That's the bottom line. It's great to be here. It's great to be out here with the 445th. I believe we're the best aeromedical staging squadron in the Air Force Reserves. And even though we get together once a month, the camaraderie, the smoothness, the cohesion, it really lets us get together and get the job done. And I think in a deployed setting, we would do very well together. And it's just great to be a part of the, part of the Air Force.